Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fate Grand Order Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia Commentaries. Let's finish this thing off with episode 19... 19. Oh, these are just called Absolute Demonic Front Mesopotamia 1 and 2. I'm excited. We're going to be finishing these off here in uh, these, these couple episodes, and I'm very excited to just enjoy the crazy finale. So, with that said, sync up your own copies to watch along with me in 3, 2, 1, play. Big Mommy's back! Big Mommy's gonna fight other Big Mommy. This is the stuff of dreams. Still can't get over how they pronounce Gorgon. Oh, those are horrible noises. It is interesting that we're having this fight between Tiamat and Tiamat, and yet there's a whole other Tiamat who's not even here, King Protea. He's got them shakes. Oh, yo. So, like, we have this 3D model somewhere, right? Just asking. There could be some cool stuff. Because she's not in... Oh, yeah, we know, by the way. Uh, she's not in arcade, I don't think, right? Hmm. Love to see her there. I do kind of wish they made it more of a secret that, you know, the Anna, Medusa, Gorgon, you know mystery because it is not anything that is you know everyone would know oh is she gonna turn into her her hollow ataraxia form yo okay okay i sort of see how how it goes. Also, that was not the pronunciation that I thought about. Okay, so she's like in the mass of stuff. I thought she became like a like just a mass of snakes. I get it now. That's creepy. That's creepy. And now, and now what, my man? It is actually another actually reason that I'm kind of happy I waited this long to to experience this is the fact that we do now have it's a nice reminder of, you know, some of these characters before we're going to see more in Strange Fake, which I really hope is more than just the one episode that we're apparently getting in the summer. But I feel like it will be. We'll have to see if it is a single thing. That's going to be a bit sad, but. Oh well. We'll see. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna read it anyways. Cause I was playing uh Witch on the Holy Night recently, and uh I came across a reference to a dead apostle, and I'm like, oh cool, that's cool. Is, is, and I just want to double check if that if I was correct about which one. And then when I went to click on their wiki page, I'm like, oh, it says strange fake. Oh, which if we're getting some dead apostles in uh in strange fake, then I am extremely interested too. 
Anyways, Benke is now my bro because my man wears a flat cap. So he's like, he's on my friend list. Benke, you and me can go hang out. Flat cap bros. I hope we go back to the original opening for the last episode. I really do. Or at least have it play as like an insert song, you know? It's a heckin' lot of mud. It's a dang good thing this will all be fixed once uh, Singularity's fixed, right? Which is, I yeah, I completely missed. I completely forgot that, yes, the Singularity fixes itself, so Siduri surviving is, you know, it makes sense. Okay. Now, her being around wouldn't make much sense until you remember that, well, technically, she's property of Gilgamesh, so it's fine. That's rad. That's rad. Whoa, why is his sweat going upwards? Oh, the base. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, he'll survive. He'll survive. Just walk it off, buddy. He is real cool. I mean, he is, he has divinity, so yeah, that's fair. I'll say this. Um, I actually watched a bunch of these episodes again with my coworker and uh, we watched it on crunchy roll and i have to say without the blu-ray the big thing that you miss is that bassy audio the blu-rays make it so much better see there's those moments where i'm just like man I love that multiple fate musos exist. I was going to say, that's not your attack. Yo. I am looking forward to something really going over how Enkidu fights. Because I get the chains, but the light blades, much less so. And the lightning, like, I, I, I want to learn more about why that's a thing, right?
I almost want to hear what the Lamu sound like in Japanese because it's not what I would have expected in English. And I feel like the same idea might work better in Japanese, you know? Once again, an amazing shot. What a good shot. You could write an essay on this shot. I can't stop looking at that symbol, though, on the chest, like the cut. It's just the Mega Man Star Force symbol. What? What is the song? Oh, no, we've heard this one before. Yo! Insert song moment, let's go. I just can't get over, though, that the beginning of the song sounds like a mainstream, like... Like, like it sounds like a Taylor Swift song, right? It just feels like an AMV moment. But it's good at the same time. Yo! That's a ludicrous number of chains. Yo. Oh, that's bigger than I thought it gets. Okay. You don't get the scale in the mobile game. I didn't know that it becomes a absolute gigantic version. Okay, good to know. It's a little bit of BDSM as a treat. I mean, yeah, it is a... It's doing its job. We get it. You like clay, dude. I get it. I do really like the... Even the non-remix background tracks, real solid. God, it must be annoying to move the whole underworld, huh? Oh, she's just doing a point-blank shot straight down, huh? Yo, okay. That's kind of sick, actually. I feel like most fate characters, most servants, can just fire straight down and blow up the world, you know? I feel like every, every noble phantasm has the power to just, like, just destroy the world if fired incorrectly. 
Or at least bring them to the underworld. See, again, this is where I'd be like, no, Gil. But I mean, I play the game and I know that he has his great moment later. Oh, well, that's nice. So did you have to also say that Fu did, or does Fu already count as a weird exception? I th her blade is cool. It's a small thing that I don't really look at quite often, but it's kind of cool. No, she was so confident. This is interesting. Whoa. Does she... Okay... I never noticed that it was like dragon like, which, again, I don't know much about what's happening in the current Japanese story of Grand Order, but the concept of ancient beings that are dinosaur slash dragon like. That's real interesting now. Huh. I never really noticed that her design changes so drastically to being so ancient. Hmm. God, that wub. It's your boy. Ah, oh, cool moment. And I feel like, I feel like this is such a thing that fate does quite a bit. Whenever there's rules, they're always broken. Always. The whole thing of, oh, he has to say, no, they'll break the rules. Oh, there's seven classes. No, we're going to break the rules. There's more. Okay, there's extra classes. No, we're going to break the rules. There's more. The fate franchise is built on breaking rules, and that's fine. I don't see a problem with that. 
Uh, they fly now. Okay, this, yeah. I didn't really understand this design when I saw it, but this is cool. Honestly, this one kind of is a is a top for a while. This is definitely aside from, you know, the Solomon after. This is kind of a a peak as it is. Oh, the battle theme. Yo. Right. Yeah, grand servants. God, he's so cool. Will it do a flashback to show this in Camelot, I wonder? Because that's where he came from, you know? God, he's so cool. God, he's so cool. All right. Is there a post credit scene for this one? There is not, but... God, it's so good. It's so good. Well, um, yeah, let's just let's just head on through. I'm going to just keep on. I'm probably just going to watch it all at once. Um, God, he's cool. I I feel like the next episode is going to start with a brief flashback to Camelot because this came out before the Camelot movie. And I'm thinking about like my coworker who watched this and skipped all the story of FGO and just like watched this anime adaptation. He might be a little confused, and I feel like anybody watching might be about where this came from. But then again, that's just the fate experience. If you watch it, you're not getting the whole story. Um, all right, let's move on. I will see you guys for the next episode in a sec. We'll see you.